videos we talked about what LCFs and LCMs, least common multiples, and greatest common factors are and why they make sense. In this video, um, I might mention a little bit of what's going on here, but I want to show how to use a Venn diagram to think about the LCM and GCF. I, we, we might like this. It works, it works especially well for two numbers. Let's pick two numbers. Let's pick, um, I don't know, 12 and 18, friendly numbers. And um, we want to find the factors, the prime factors of each number. So we can use the birthday cake method. That's one way to do it. Um, or you can use a factor tree. I'm going to use a factor tree. So 12 is equal to 2 times oops, 2 times 6. 2 is prime. 6 is equal to 2 times 3. So 12 is really 2 times 2 times 3. And what is what is 18? Well, that's right. 9 times 2. 2 is prime. And 9 is just 3 times 3. And I'm realizing here I want to change the color of these circles to fit the colors I just used. Sorry about that. Oops. Okay, so again we have 12 and 18. So for 12 we use a, a blue circle. Oops. For 12 we use a blue circle. And for 18 we use a red circle. And these two circles should be relatively the same size. Oops. Do that again. Okay. That's okay. So now, how do we do this? Well, this red circle is for 18, and this blue circle is for 12. And and what you have here is where the two circles meet. It's called the intersection, right? So in other words, I'm going to shade that in. What numbers do they both share in common? Well, they both share what? Just look at the prime factors and put them in here. So for example, 18 has a 2 and a 3 times a 3. 12 has a 2 times a 2 times a 3, so they both have at least one 2. Use a neutral color here. They both have two. They both have three. Right? Uh, they both have one two and one three. If they had both had two twos or two threes, you'd pile them all in here. So I'm going to cross those out so I don't lose track of this. They both have one two and one three. So we already counted those. Um, now twelve. It also has another two that that eighteen does not. 18 also has another 3 that 12 does not. So now, what do we do? Well, this is the intersection in here, right? The factors they both share. That's what the GCF is. The GCF of 12 and 18 is the factors, the greatest factor combination that both numbers share, which is 2 times 3, or 6. And what's the LCM? Well, the LCM is equal to the, the product of the factors right, that they both share. So this is equal to the LCM right here. Multiply these numbers. That's the LCM right across. Because what you're doing is you're multiplying the type of factor, right? We have twos and threes. Those are two different types. And we're going to multiply them as the most times they occur. So in both numbers, two occurs once. But in 12, it occurs twice. So the LCM is going to be two times 2, right, and then in 18, 3 occurs twice. Once when it occurs with 12, and then once more again. So the LCM equals 2 squared times 3 squared, which is just 4 times 9, which is 36. And this will work for two numbers, always and, and every time. And I guess we can look at one more example, just to really get the hang of this. So what if we had, I don't know, two different numbers? This time we're going to use the same color. Oops, you can do better than that. Uh, that's a little bit better. Okay, so what if we had not 12 and 18, but what if we had, I don't know, let's say 15 and and 20. Well, what are the factors of 15? Well, 5 times 3, right? Those are our prime factors, and 20 is 2 times 10. 10 is 2 times 5. Circle my prime factors. So what do we do? Well, what are the factors they share that goes right in here? They they both share 1, 5. Goes right there. They don't share anything else. But 15 has another 3. This will be our 15 circle over here. And 20 has, has two, 
two more twos. And this is our 20 circle right here. So the GC right in the middle. They both share this area as the intersection of 15 and 20, and the greatest common factor that they both have is 5. And the LCM is just going to be, well, the product of all the factors, right, they share, the prime factors. 3 times 5 times 2 squared. And I'm just taking each digit, 3s and 5s and 2s, and multiplying them as many times as they occur in both numbers. And we only multiply 5 once because we're counting uh, the amount of times 5 occurred for each number, which is just once, right? So it's just 1 5. So the greatest, the least common multiple is the product of these numbers, which is 4 times 3, which is 12 times 5, which is 60. And that's the LCM. Alright, hope this helped.